All right, Tech, you know what it's about. What is it about? Indy Power. Indy Power, yeah. Turning down $60 million uh, deals like it's nothing. Uh, is yeah. that Indy Power? That's Indy Power. I'm telling you. I That's mean, it's not even just about the money, because I know you're not at the finish line yet. Totally, no, I'm not. You got work to do. Exactly. Got empires to build. Look at this machine here, man. You got yeah. the, the merch, the new album. Yes, man. You know man, I know the operation keeps growing. I tell, my, I tell my people, that's strange. I said, this is not, we made it just because we got the Eminem verse. We got the Corey Taylor feature. We got all these features, TI and, you know, uh, Excision and all these people from all these different genres, you know, and levels of hip hop as well. And, you know, I said, this is not, we made it because we got all these summer jams we're doing and festivals, rock fest and rock on the range. This is not, we made it. This is, we have to prove to them why we have this spot. So we have to go even harder, you know what I'm saying? To show motherfuckers why we are in these prime spots because people are coming to see why the fuck would they put a hip hop artist on a rock fest to people that don't know. You know what I'm saying? Already. You know what I'm saying? The people that just hear Tech Nine and think, like they're saying on the um, Kansas City show, um, Rock Fest, that happens May 30th on on uh, YouTube. Some of the people are like, why would they have Tech Nine there? He's going to bring all the gangbangers there. He's going to fuck up Rock Fest. I'm like, wow. They just they just really don't know. They don't know that how I started my label was, yeah, I'm from the hood, but out of my label, you know what I'm saying, because of the doors, you know what I'm saying, but the motherfuckers don't know that because they haven't really checked in. So, yeah, music's way deeper than one category oh, or yeah, a label totally, or... Man. I'm three-dimensional. I mean, I was right there at Aftershock where you were right in there with the Rob Zombies yes. and the Five Finger Death Punch. Yes, and sir. The, yes, sir. You know, I know you collaborate with them. I mean, talk about what it took to get this m because I know you've been working a while for that. Yeah, man, it's been over like a decade since I've been wanting to work with them, you know, and... Um, I guess this time, you know, the stars happened to the line, man, you know what I'm saying? And um, it happened. I guess I sent it to him at the perfect time, you know, and um, I think I sent him something really massive, too, you know, which was the last, the last, very last Worldwide Choppers, you know what I'm saying? If Tech 9 sends you a Worldwide Choppers, you better, it's, it's like, that's something. That's something, you know what I'm saying? That's like a staple in the strange music, strange land. You know, family or sure. fan fan base. You know what I mean? Worldwide choppers go a long way, and Midwest choppers. You know, the chopper series. Period. So, for it to be the last one, and for it to be a tribute to Richie Havens, freedom, freedom. You know, all the way from man. Woodstock. Yeah, all Richie the way from blew Woodstock, it up, man, Woodstock. You know what I'm saying? Killed it, man. And um, so the people who own that song, you know, what I'm saying they took most of the publishing, but they still let us use it. And I just wanted to say thank you to Richie Havens, you know what I'm saying, for making such wonderful music, you know what I mean? Yeah, and it's timeless. And Eminem being on it just took it over the top, you know what I mean? Well, I we, know call, we call it speed you know, instead of freedom. I know some people would be happy with just that, man, right, right on their epitaph, but totally. you're just getting started, I know. Oh yeah, man. I mean, what, what, what fuels you every day to take it to the next level? Um, because what we set out for, me and Travis, at the beginning of this is world domination and we don't have it yet, you know? There's still places. I just did Honolulu for the first time and it was sold out, man, you know what I'm saying? After them, after some of the uh, promoters back in the day saying I'm a riot maker, so they wouldn't book me down there, finally got down there a month ago and mm. it was no riots, but it was people down there that really loved Tech 9 man. I told him I'm sorry it took me so long, but them punk ass promoters back in the day didn't didn't sure. That's my little girl. Hold on for me. This is yeah. real. You can keep it going. Keep it going. Okay. I'm all about real. Yo. You are okay. I'll send somebody out to get you guys. Okay. All right, look. Hey, um, well, some they said um, my little one said she's down. They're down um, by the tour bus. Can somebody bring him up here? Yeah. What were we saying, man? Well, you're talking about Honolulu and taking oh, yeah. it to new places. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know man, you got Canada, just, taking it to Europe. Yeah, man. It's just, spreading it out. Not just, Fest, I mean. Oh, totally, man. Not Fest was like my very first metal fest. And 
to get the horns up at the very end of my show and just it was just and the, it was fell on what would have been my mom's 59th birthday if she didn't pass oh, June 6th to um, Lupus, you know. So to perform Incredible. on that day was something, you the, know. What that's I mean? those hollowed grounds right there where they had the Us Festival back yeah. in 80, 83, 84. Steve totally, Wozniak, totally, man. co founder of Apple, put oh, that on. Man. Beautiful. I was right there, 300,000 people back in the day when they built that. Crazy, man. Just in the middle of nowhere. People said, What the hell is it? You know, it's at the yeah, middle man. of the, the 15. So I was saying, though, it's so much, so many more places we have to go. You know, you said, What's my motivation? We haven't reached world domination yet. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We still haven't been to Japan. We still haven't been to Africa. We've been to Kuwait and Bahrain and stuff like that, but we still ain't been to Budapest. We still ain't been a lot of places, man. We still ain't been to Brazil, and people are here Ooh. tonight from Brazil. You know what I'm saying? It took 23 hours to get here to see me tonight. You know what I mean? And um, a, a daughter and a mama, you know, I, I ain't even been there. You know what I'm saying? So many places we have to go. You know, um, to be, I have to tread every piece of this earth before we go, before man blows this place up, you know? And um, that's my motivation, and my family is my motivation, and my mom is my motivation, and the love of my fans is the motivation to keep wanting to get better and show out as much as I can lyrically. Yeah. Well, I know the roster's growing, the operation is growing. What, what is the mindset necessary, where it's somebody that you're looking at bringing on a team, or just anybody out there that's creative? Doesn't matter what genre, they, they might be making music or movies or video or yeah. computer games or whatever. What's the mindset they need to follow? Well, you know, I, I want to know if my artist, it doesn't matter if it's hip hop, whether it's rock, whether it's R&B, whatever. It's just, I love, I love artists that are good and I, I want them to be able to convey that live because if you can't do it live, what are we doing it for? You have to be able to convey that to the fan, you know, in a live manner, you know what I mean? Um, and be able to do it well too, just like I do. Because, you know, this is how we politic in hip hop, you know what I'm saying? You and have you to want to see them get bigger than you. You want to see them go as yes. far as they can, yes, no I limitations. Do. Yes, I do. I don't, I don't, whenever I sign an artist, man, or whenever we sign an artist, we, we do it to where, you know, I want it to where they get so many fans that they can possibly surpass me. I feel that about Mayday. I feel that about Stevie Stone. I feel that about Chris Calico for years. I feel that about Seth's crew. I feel that about all my artists, man. They have the ability and the talent to surpass what I've done, you know what I'm saying, to this point. Yeah. It's gotta be in the right place. You know what I mean? It's gotta be at the right place and people need to hear them, you know? That's what so I think. So they, they can only inspire you. There's no reason to be threatened by anybody else's success. No, 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 no. I wouldn't even sign them. Can you imagine like all these dope motherfuckers I got with me? You know what I'm saying? They are actually dope. You know what I'm saying? These guys, I don't sign no subpar motherfuckers because I don't want to get outshined. Hey, you know what I'm saying? I don't, want, I don't sign motherfuckers just, you know, I sign them because they're wonderful artists, you know what I'm saying? And they have the ability to um, grow even bigger than me. Sure. <laughs> Okay. You about taller than your mama, that's crazy. <laughs> I don't know where you got your height from. All them shoes, okay. Oh, I'm so tall. Oh yeah, that's right. So these days, you really don't need that that record deal. If you go out and show and prove what you have, companies might want to come and do business with you. Uh, now all of a sudden, you have leverage. You've got terms. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? I feel like the only thing a major can do for us is give us more manpower to push this strange music thing even further. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's like, oh, you know, um, we're, 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 we're still young in it and we got so much more to offer the fans, you know what I'm saying? It's like we just need more manpower because we have a lot of artists, you know what I'm saying? So that's all we could give a percentage for is their radio department, their video department, their promotions, whatever, you know what I'm saying? To augment ours, that's it. You know what I mean? And that number is going to have to be significant for them. Me and Travis's blood, sweat, and tears. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We're steadily hiring new people every day. Well, not every day, but you know, we're steadily hiring new people. You're in no hurry to lose that vision. Mm -mm. No, -uh. we have so much more to do and so much more people to touch. You know what I mean? So this ain't this ain't the hilt. It, it would seem like it's the hilt, but um, 
like I just called Travis on the air yesterday when I was doing a radio spot and I gave them a jewel. I was like, I came up with the name of my next album. And um, after all these years, my um, first album before Strange Music, when I was on Midwest Side Records, it was called The Calm Before the Storm. So I called Travis on the air yesterday and I'm like, listen, man, I got the name of my new album already and this one ain't even came out. He said, what is it? I said, The Storm. After all these years, here the storm is, you know what I'm saying? And if, in order for it to be the storm, it's gonna have to live up to that. Because I told him the calm before the storm, that I told him this was the calm in 96. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's 2015 now, so in 2016 or whatever, or 2017 or whatever, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna come with the album called The Storm? Whoa, it's gonna have to really be top notch. It's gonna push me to wanna to go even bigger than this one. And ooh, hard to do, you know what I'm saying? It's always hard to do, but I always do it. So I just, you know, wait for the fucking words to come out the air, man, you know what I'm saying? And they come to me, situations come to me, motherfuckers turning on me because of money and shit, you know? Mom passing, you know what I mean? It's always something going on, man, you know what I'm right. saying? Always something going on. It's never, no, nothing great is ever easy. Nope, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just blessed to still be here going, you know what I mean? Instead of plummeting, you know what I mean? We're still on the incline, you know? Yeah. Well, what does having Corey Taylor from Slipknot and Surge from System of Down, great rockers like that, embrace what you have and, and let their fans know, man, there's no difference. Good music is good music. Man, it's really comes in all shapes and sizes. Well, that's what I'm gonna tell you. You said a mouthful right there and it's wonderful. Uh, to be able to work with my peers or the people that um, I've been listening to for a long, long time, like System of a Down and Slipknot, you know what I mean? For them to okay it and say, yeah, that's dope, I want to do this. For them to even consider me out of all the people that do music, you know, that just does something to me, man. You know what I'm saying? I just It's just total validation of everything that I've been thinking I could do for so many years, you know what I mean? And this whole album, this thing I'm signing right now, mm -hmm. this whole album is me saying we need each other, togetherness, you know what I'm saying? If you make good music, you yeah. make good music. Fuck the genres, whatever. Yes, yes, my bass is hip hop, but why can't I put Excision on here with me? He's on here, EDM, you know what I'm saying? Why can't I put Corey Taylor on here on the metal side? Why can't I put T.I. on here from, you know what I'm saying, the trap side. Why can't I put Lil Wayne on here from the alien side? Why can't I put Two Chains on here from the ratchet side? You know what I'm saying? Wonderful. You know, um, um, so why can't I put Joseph Bashar of The Conjuring and Insidious and Annabelle on here, you know what I'm saying, the composer? to do the darkness, you know what I'm saying, the utmost darkness, you know what I mean? It's like, there should not be any barriers, we need each other, you know what I mean? And together we can make beautiful music, and that's what we did. Well, it seems like festivals in America are really growing, you know, you've seen yeah. from the Coachellas to the, you know, the Aftershocks yeah. and the, the Rock on the Range, so, okay, yeah, you know? Because yeah, over in Europe, they got so many of them. Yeah, 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 download but, but, and all but, that kind But of now stuff. it's growing, and, and you look at the bill on Coachella, and it's everything from ACDC to Drake to EDM to yeah. you know Jack White. Yeah, that's what's up. You know, that's what's up, man. That's what's up. That's the it's whole. It's about bringing people together because we're really one, one people, right? Totally, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's really sad to no. see any any you know problems out there, but oh, we got to yeah. pull together to overcome them. Yeah, man. Now if we can get some of those police to think that to know that all we need is togetherness and we you know would be all right. Yeah, get everybody in harmony. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> it's something with the police every fucking day. Right. I'm not I'm saying all police, I'm just saying the motherfuckers that are on TV, god damn. You know, you see the other, the, the other day, the yeah. motherfucker just ran a nigga over and... Right. You know what I'm saying? I mean... Yeah. <laughs> they said he had a gun or something, I don't know. But, yeah, you'd think there was some instrument you could use rather than a battering ram of a, damn, of a charging car. Threw, he, they, they drove him over the fence, my nigga. I was like, whoa! Yeah, uh, man, you know what I'm saying? If, if some of these police would... Um, have the same mind state. Now, now, for those in the hip hop world that don't know about rock, that they, they, they kind of think that rock is soft or 
you know, these people are crazy at these metal shows moshing and stuff. Uh -huh. What do you have to say to them to cross over to, to understand the energy at these rock shows? Well, you know, it's been changing in the hip hop um, genre for a while, you know what I mean? Because, you know, when you go to a Little John show, they're um, moshing. When you go to a Machine Gun Kelly show, they're moshing. When you go to a Tech Nine show, they're moshing. You know what I'm saying? When they go to a Method Man and Red Man show, they're moshing. So it's integrating on its own, man. You know what I'm saying? The music is going to bring everybody together. They say music soothes the savage beast. That's what it's doing, and that's what it's always done, and it's going to keep doing it. You know what I mean? You know, I, I remember some years ago, I was on some thing with Jay Z and Hula Stank and NERD and. Um, um, Nappy Roots, it was called the Sprite Liquid Mix Tour. Oh, yeah. It was rock mixed with rap, you know what I'm saying? Now, mm -hmm. the drawback to that was the black folks that came for the rap were standing in the motherfucking mosh pit with their good suits on and their strawberry daiquiris and <laughs> it turned into a fight because <laughs> motherfuckers, right. they don't know they ain't supposed to be in the mosh pit. They just up front trying to see Jay-Z yeah. when Hoops stinks out there, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> but, um... After a while, man, you know what I'm saying, it was the Sprite Liquid Mix Tour brought everybody together, you know what I mean, and that's what I think music should be able to do, and it does. It's just like you're forced to be on a goddamn elevator with strangers, you know what I'm saying, they should have really good music playing instead of elevator music. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, we know it all starts with the great music, and, and again, we're involved with IES, the Indie Entertainment Summit, you know, that yeah. we inducted you, and totally. of course, Violet Brown, oh, yeah, 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 and Brian yeah, yeah. Schaff, and everybody. I, I, I did that on uh, Skype. I, Absolutely. I on Chino XL, Chino XL and, yeah. and Violet Brown, yeah, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. Important. Why is it important for artists out there to understand it's not just about the music? you got to do the dope music, but the, the stage show, the touring, the promotion, the yeah. media, all that's just as important to learn yeah. that this is a business. All, and, and don't get pimp, man. Just you know, grow in the business, and then all, you're an asset to even strange. It all starts in. The, it all starts with the music. <clears throat> then from there, you got to know how to get the motherfucking music to everybody. You know what I'm saying? You got to. You got to know how to get that merchandise looking to where people want to wear. It, you know what I'm saying? Be walking billboards. You have to mm -hmm. really pay attention. I've been fucked over for so many years, man. It's like. You know, I I, I, I I have to I keep my eyes open for bullshit, you know what I mean? You know, because, yeah. you know, most of the time it shows itself anyway, you know what I mean? So, you don't take any you success know, for granted because people, people it's a like, hard pot. We're, we're like the blueprint, and people have been following it for a long time, man, and other indie artists are now, you know, successful like Hobson, you know what I'm saying, with funk volume, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Uh, atmosphere have been successful since I could remember yeah. at Rhyme Sayers, you know. Mm -hmm. There's just so many more um, indie um, labels that are popping, yeah. man. And, uh, Cottonmouth Kings. Cottonmouth Kings, you know what I'm saying? Psychopathic, been doing yeah. it for years, you know what I mean? Um, sick with it, you know what I'm saying? We learned from sure. E-40, you know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah. He's been doing it way back. You know? Absolutely. So, you know, the, the spirit has always been there, man, and we share the inspiration. We share the inspiration and people can learn from us. And they do, you know. And as far as putting a tour together, what do you look for in making that right chemistry of the right artists? What's the balance? Well, you know, if we're signing these artists, you know, and I told you what the what uh, I expect out of these artists, you know what I mean, to be able to convey that message on stage, because they'll never be able to take away the touring. You know, what I'm saying only you can fuck up the touring by fucking up the venues or fighting with the fucking venue security or mm -hmm. not showing up, you know what I'm saying, or being uber late for your motherfucking performance and, you know, you got a curfew. But, uh, you know, with, 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 with us, before we even, we, we, already, we already know that the motherfuckers can do it live because this is how I find my artists, you know what I mean? I found Ritz in uh, Nashville, went to a show and saw him busting like, damn, saw Mayday open up for us in, uh, in Orlando, and I was like, damn, I saw um, Seth's crew <clears throat> opening up for Devin the Dude in Kansas City. I was like, wow, you know what I'm saying? I'm a fan of these motherfuckers, so I already know that we could take them on tour before we even sign them, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's, they're they're it's tested. Like, it's like mandatory, you know what I'm yeah. saying? It's mandatory, you know You've had a chance to get a feel for their character. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Only one I didn't see live that we signed because I'm such a big fan with Brother Lynch, huh? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying, and uh, you know he when he started, he needed to work on his fucking show. You know, <laughs> wow. I could say that.
say that because I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? But uh, well, you know, as important it is to you know have a great time on a show and let it out and you know be one with the music. We've lost a lot of venues. You're about to lose the House of Blues. Your show tomorrow is the last one there. Yeah. What can you say to the fans? And, and it's not always their, their fault, but a lot of times, you know, some knuckleheads are ruining it for everybody and these venues are closing. Why are they closing? Well, a lot of times it's the problems with the neighbors, you know, when the police get called and there's a stabbing and fights and, and oh, yeah. late night, you know, rough. That's why the House of Blues on Sunset is closing? Uh, there's, there's a number of reasons, and I know that's one of them. Really? Yeah. I thought they'd close and open back up, man. Well, that's the problem. They're not moving anywhere. They're just closing. Oh, so. So your show tomorrow, you know, what does that mean? You've done so many incredible shows, House of Blues, well, Sunset Boulevard. It was um, monumental. The first time we did it, you know what I mean? It's like, ooh, you know what I'm saying? Dan Aykroyd, ah, oh, you know what I'm saying? We, <laughs> we love brothers. the Blues Brothers, you know? <laughs> I'm like, we're finally here. Jake and Elwood. Yeah, man. Jake and Elwood Blues, man. I mean, I. On Bout to Bubble, I would do the Elwood dance when he's like, I got you, 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 I got you. So we was connected to that, man. When they changed the fucking menu to some fucking Mexican food, which is cool. I love Mexican food, but you can't take the fucking Elwood off the goddamn menu. Yeah. The chicken sandwich, are you fucking crazy? I can't go there and eat the goddamn Elwood. Have you ever had the Elwood? Oh, yeah, man. Huh? I mean, that whole building, they sprinkled that that soil from the Mississippi Delta. Oh, Robert man. Johnson and Muddy Waters and yeah, man. Alan you know Wolf and all them came from. It's monumental, man. You know what I'm saying? I hate to see it close, but are all of them going to close? No. It was just that one for now, but we lost the Universal Amphitheater. We really? lost the Key Club. Really? All these have closed in the last year. Damn, motherfuckers ain't going to shows no more or something? Well, that's not just it. Like I said, there's I'm a lot of problems. I can't ain't going to shows. Really. You know, so it's all about balance, as you know. Yeah. Have a good time, but don't, you know, spill out into the parking yeah, lot and they, all these problems. They, that, they, they had a good run, man, but yeah. man, motherfuckers are fucking up for everybody. That's the problem. But, I mean, you go to these big metal shows. These people are moshing like you can't believe, but everybody leaves peacefully. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You that's, know? What, that's what they say, my buddy. Yeah, but I mean, <laughs> for the amount of people and the amount of violence yeah, yeah, going on, there's yeah. very little fights, you gotta admit. <laughs> yeah, 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 motherfuckers be getting stabbed and shit, we don't know about it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I get what you're saying. Do, do it in moderation, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Protect yeah. these venues. Yeah, that, I, I believe in that. It's the source of such and, good, and, and, good times. And, and we do, and we do um, good business with all these venues, is why some of the venues that won't take hip hop will take us, you know what I'm saying? Because we have a great track record. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? And, You're handling uh, your business, man. Yeah, it's a pole yeah, star yeah. and it's, it's about you know? that. It's about that, you know? And a lot of these guys are young, man. They don't know better. You know what I'm saying? They don't know they ain't supposed to smoke weed in the green room. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They don't know that. They don't know, they, know they, ain't supposed to, they don't know they ain't supposed to do crack or meth back there backstage. They don't know that. You know what I'm saying? They're young. Ain't nobody, ain't no OGs around there. OGs are locked up. Not all of them, but I'm just saying. These youngsters, man, they ain't got no guys. But learn, learn the business, man. It's, a, it's exactly, about exactly. it's about longevity. It is. Because you didn't just start today. Mm, no, I did not. Yeah. You know, no problem. Well, Chuck, we appreciate it. Can't wait for special effects. And I know you're so going to blow up the stage here in Cali. Oh, man. Yeah. Thank you so much. It's always indie power. Thank you. It's always indie power in this motherfucker. That's all I know. I appreciate y'all, too. Yeah.